Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Just trying to get into the mood here. The TV ratings for the Oscars ceremony were down 3% from last year. You know, I can relate to that. Last week, we lost a quarter of our audience when he got moved to the night shift at Kinko's. <laughs> testified yesterday at the Air Rage trial of REM guitarist Peter Buck. It's not really a joke there, but this is VH1. I just have to say crap like that. from the same state of North Carolina, and I'd like to uh, do an impression now of a guy from North Carolina talking about classical music. Here we go. Uh, I like Beethoven. He's pretty good. Um, I like Mozart. He's pretty good. But my favorite is, uh, Batch. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Something slower, a little slower. There we go. David Hasselhoff, David Hasselhoff says he's going to make Knight Rider, remember that show Knight Rider, into a movie. You know, Knight Rider with a talking car? That's kind of cool. I had a talking car once. Actually, it was just a homeless guy in the back of my station wagon. He'd help me solve crimes and say things like, I just had a turbo boost in my pants. <laughs> Playboy magazine is putting together a women of Enron spread featuring women who lost their jobs when the company went bankrupt. You know, it looks like Enron is still in the wad blowing business. <laughs> Late World is on! Zach, this is Late World. Ben Folds is here tonight. And from TV's hottest quirky drama, Six, Six Feet Under's Matthew St. Patrick is with us tonight also. Matthew St. Patrick. You know, one of the great things about having your own talk show is that you get to talk to people that you've always wanted to talk to. I'm very, very, very proud of this next interview. I, I consider it my greatest, greatest interview, and it's with William Shatner. Here we go. Hey, William Shatner, what's going on? Hey, I've always wanted to ask you a question. Now, it might be a little long-winded, so just try to pay attention. And please don't play with that pen, okay? <laughs> An event? Uh, don't play with the pen. <laughs> William. <laughs> Willie. Willie. Stop playing with the pen. <laughs> All right. When you get serious about not playing with that pen, you let me know. I love that man. He's a part of me now. <laughs> when we get back, maybe, maybe Matthew St. Patrick will hold me, and maybe later Ben Folds will soothe my soul with his music. <laughs> it's Oklahoma. No, it's okay. <laughs> Go to your commercial. Don't worry about me. Like these. Advice that I would give to Zach as an actor is to, uh, you know, spend some some time being quiet and really uh, just kind of tuning in to, to where his motivation actually comes from, you know, and the things that have troubled him in the past that he didn't particularly care for that he can he can use to, to you know, kind of refocus uh, his energy and decide what he really wants to do when he grows up because this isn't working. It's just not.
next guest is getting rave reviews as the big black gay cop on HBO's Six Feet Under. And I like saying that, big black gay cop. That kind of rolls well, Claire, off the top, Claire doesn't says it? big black sex cop, so, you know. I like saying big black, black gay, gay cop. cop. Okay. Big Whatever. black gay cop. <laughs> big <laughs> black gay <laughs> Big black. Please welcome Matthew St. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's let's get right to the point. Cool. You are a straight man, right? I'm a good actor. You're a very good actor. <laughs> and, and you kiss men a lot on your show. Is, I that, is, is I, that fun? I've kissed several men on the show. Yeah. <laughs> now, is that weird? What was what was it like when you first kissed? No, was it, have you kissed a guy before working on the show? No. Okay. No. Yeah. Me either. But it was uh, <laughs> trying to make it a habit. <laughs> but uh, it was it was weird the first night because actually I was working on on all my children and shooting this show at the same time. So right. I was flying back and forth, and the first scene that I had to shoot for the pilot was actually the end scene for David and I when he comes to my apartment and his father's just passed and he needs to be comforted and that's exactly what so takes he, place. He needs so to be comforted I, he, so you yeah, stick your tongue yeah, down Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, several times. Well, you know, we do yeah. that back home in North Carolina, that but it's right? usually a relative. <laughs> <laughs> um, how, many, how many men have you kissed on camera? Uh, this would be two, actually, because I, I had a, another boyfriend in the show that... Uh, well, you get around, don't you? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> So wait, walk me through this. So now, did they go, uh, so you got the part, by the way, straight boy, you're going to be kissing some men. I no, mean, did you? Actually, well, I knew it when I auditioned for, oh, the, okay. for the show that I was playing, you know, was an LAPD uniform cop who's gay, his lover's white, and they met in church. So of course, wow, it's that's, HBO. What a it's, great character that is. <laughs> and, it's, and it's HBO, so you know there's yeah. going to be some, you know, some things involved. And, you know, I'm an actor, and the most important thing is, is to continue to reinvent yourself and do different things. I, you know, I came from daytime, and... You know, uh, people often ask, you know, what what are you going to do next? And my uh, oh, my make out with guys. That, yeah, I'm going I'm to make out with guys. But uh, it was to be on a, a really creative show and uh, playing a role that's completely different yeah. than what I'd done before. And it came about, and you know, it was just one of those things. You take the opportunities right. because they're very rare. Yeah. And and the writing that we get a chance to play with is extraordinary. And people go their entire lives and not get this opportunity that we've been blessed with. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. You, my, I guess my question is, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to get off the kissing thing. Okay. Have you, have you? What if it like you like it? <laughs> <laughs> the character if, loves it. No. The character loves it. What if it. Matthew likes it? <laughs> then you know what? If Matthew loved it that much, then I think he would probably explore it. But that's not the case. Okay. So All right. <laughs> good answer. Very good answer. Very good answer. Let's take a look at uh, a clip from um, Six Feet Under. Oh, you can't. Eddie, I need you to pick up Taylor from school. Look, I realize you're in the middle of a shit. Can't you just get somebody to cover for you? Yes. Man, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place here. I need you to do this for me. All right, never mind. There's a bullshit detail. I wish the guy would just shoot her and get it over with. I got tickets for the Dodgers tonight. What did I say? I counted, I counted three f**ks <laughs> and one uh, There's a lot of uh, swearing on the a show. That, that must swearing. be actually a nice relief in a weird way for an actor. You can, you can yeah, say you can, these you things. Can, you can go there. Yeah. And, and they allow us to stay in, you know, uh, if anything, they kind of just say, go, you know, if you want to go further, go further. Yeah. You know, HBO is really supportive about that. And, and yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of cussing. You know, a lot we, of cussing. We get a chance to really express ourselves, yeah. which is great because, you know, network doesn't allow for yeah, that. Yeah, here I can always say, dag nabbit. Oh, uh, yeah, that's exciting. So, yeah, Somebody, I'm sure someone would take you seriously. Yeah, dag nabbit. <laughs> dag nabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Dag nabbit, I want a table at Spago. Um, speaking of HBO, is there, was there a lot of pressure for the show to be the, sh the next show that uh, was going to come on, you know, like The Sopranos was the big breakout? No, actually, um, I talked with Alan about, you know, his pressure as a writer and a creator um, the night we were shooting that episode that I was talking about and what pressure he might feel coming off an Oscar win. And uh, he said, no, there's, there's no pressure. I think the show stands on its own. And I think that we all felt, you know, collectively, that after reading the script for the first time, and if any of you have seen the, the show, when you got a pilot like that, there where the characters are so incredibly developed in the first show, you know, uh, and the writing is, is so amazing, uh, I knew and felt deeply that it, it should be a huge success and that people should gravitate towards it because yeah. of the material that we're talking about and, and the subject matter. I just thought it was great. So there was no, you know, there was no... Uh, 
no pressure because HBO is, is unlike the networks. They allow the shows to actually be developed. And, and they will give. Yeah, exactly. And they, breathe. Wait, hold on. Not Get the camera close you after. on me. VH1, did you hear that? <laughs> Let the show breathe naturally. Yeah. Thank so you. you'll, you'll find your audience, and the audience will find the show. Exactly. And, and Hold on one second, Matthew. Did you hear that, VH1? <laughs> Let it grow naturally. Sorry. Go ahead, Matthew. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, that's where I think everyone was coming from, and HBO has been really supportive about it from the word go. I mean, the notes that, that we kind of laugh about is that in the pilot, all of these crazy things take place, and their notes to Alan Ball and the rest of, crea the rest of the creative staff was, okay, that's great, but can you go a little further? Yeah. Which you don't normally, it's usually, okay, well, no, we can't really have the priest say those things, and we can't, you know, it's always just pull back, pull back. And I think the reason why the show has, has done so well is that I think it, it touches us in a way that's very real and it's very honest, and, and people really get a chance to appreciate that for once. Which is weird, too. It's hard in this town to execute that, and it's yeah. really great that, that uh, you're on a show with six feet under everybody. Matthew St. Patrick. <laughs> very good to have you. tell you to stay tuned America because next Ben Folds is here we're here with Ben Folds um, we're very busy so we're eating I'm gonna interview Ben Ben you live in Australia married that's correct sir married woman I am a married to a, a woman yes oh you're married to a woman yeah she's 5'10 wow do you have enough fiber in that, you think? I gotta lose some weight. I lost four ounces in the last two weeks. I wasn't really worried about your weight, just your regularity. Oh, no, I'm, bad. I'm really Are you regular? No, I've got the greatest digestive system, but thank you. That's good. You got my email about my digestive system, right? I got the memo, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. The one everyone got. Did you ever read the, uh, the book, uh, short story of uh, Franny and Zoe? I don't read. Okay, that's cool. J.D. Salinger is the guy who wrote uh, um, uh, Catching Around. Right, I know who he is. Right, There's right, that right. better way. There's a I always DJ. thought J.D. Salinger was in, was in the Eagles, but that was somebody <laughs> else. Coming up in the studio, Ben will be performing live. <laughs> Where do babies come from? Whoa! Ouch! Uh, do you, uh, do you play the same song every time uh, while you're talking, or are those different songs? Look, I have I don't know what I'm doing on the piano. I, it's kind of like the, the the flowing waters of the of the Grand Canyon. It's, it, kind of it, it's I have no idea what I'm doing. It's all. good. Well, uh, you should you, uh, look, should look in a copyright in that you, song because um, someone's gonna steal it. You guys, you guys, jot, please jot this down. This Thursday show is so good, I need to tell you about it right now. I'll be hanging out with Robin Williams, Danny DeVito, and Alien Ant Farm will meet me back here on Thursday night. Please watch. He's here to play a song I'm very, very, very pleased from his new solo album, Rock in the Suburbs, with cake frontman John McRae. Please welcome Ben Folds. <laughs> sits alone at his desk in the dark there's an awkward young shadow who waits in the hall he has cleared all his things and he's put them in boxes things that remind him that life has been good 25 years he's worked at Today, like the day that he started, and no one is left here that knows his first name. Yeah, and life barrels on like a runaway train where the passengers change, they don't change anything. You get off, someone else can get on, and I'm sorry. 
gems It's his paints out and goes to the basement projecting some slides onto a plain white canvas and traces it fills in the space as he turns off the slides and it doesn't look right yeah and all of these bastards have taken his place he's forgotten I'd like, to, I'd like to thank Ben Folds, uh, John McRae, and Matthew St. Patrick for making my show what it was today. Uh, come on back tomorrow night when my guest will be Politically Incorrect's Bill Maher. And my friend Alanis Morissette will perform at a very special location. And then they're going to get married right here on my show. <laughs> ben, a little something a little soft underneath, if you don't mind. That's too soft. Okay, good. Today's show really touched my heart. Having been folds on who's from North Carolina like me, made me miss my home. Los Angeles can make you feel as anonymous as an extra in an Olive Garden commercial. <laughs> now sure, I drive a Viper with a chandelier in it. <laughs> but, that, but that doesn't fight the emptiness I feel inside. There's only one way to fill that emptiness, manwich. Because a sandwich is a sandwich. But a man which is a meal. <laughs> Good night, America. Let me tell y'all what it's like. Be a male middle class and white. It's a bitch if you don't believe. Listen up to my new CD, Shaman. I got sh running through my brain. I'm so intense that I can't explain. All alone in my white boy pain. I shake your booty while the band complains. Yeah.